Our, I mean, we can all put on our our our, our uh, glasses and our earphones, yeah. and it could be like freaking World War II outside. We don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> we're all hooked up to something. We don't know. know Armageddon could be happening outside. Well, everybody, the news tell everybody put on your glasses, and it could be just the end of the world. And we're, we're just, right? you know, what I mean, just like the new the the, the what is it the, the atomic bomb? Just right. Like, yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. I was in I don't want you guys to see this. I was a man of first. I never better say I don't know what's coming. Yeah, right. Hey. You know, put it on your video and you which call it. You know, it's just it's just weird. It's just weird. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. Uh, so we got asked about the metaverse thing. Okay. Now, I actually just watched um soul immortals video and he talked a little bit about this you know and I, I, his take was so really interesting i'll link that video below if you guys are interested but the um the metaverse is a new branding of facebook like he's, it's like a, is, it, is it a new branding yes it's in the works facebook's is still going to be facebook but it, no i think they're gonna be calling it meta <laughs> metaverse so i was looking at the video <laughs> i'll link it below if you guys have not seen it it's it's i'm sure you have at this point We'll all need to work together from the beginning to bring the best possible version of this future to life. A future where, with just a pair of glasses, you will be able to step beyond the physical world and into the kinds of experiences that we have talked about today. The idea of someone living virtually, you know how dangerous that could be? The slippery slope of it all. We already have people who are disconnected yeah. from reality in reality. So the the idea of I don't know, loners. I, I can I see really geeks really, loving it. I think that it's interesting that he um this all came out right at the time that we all had coronavirus and everybody was inside. Yeah, right. I feel like that wasn't on purpose. I oh, feel you like keeping he's... everybody home. Yeah. Because a lot of people after coronavirus, yeah. like a lot of cities have opened up and everything, mm -hmm. that a lot of people didn't want to go back to their job. Yeah. Most because people. they got used yeah. to being at home. And I think he picked a good time, or I think it was purposely. I mm -hmm. think he did it because he realized nobody wants to leave at home. Yeah. So now here, right, right after that big thing, mm -hmm. the coronavirus lockdown, then all he... of a sudden now we have this thing where you never leave your house. Yeah. He kind of used the pandemic as a way right. of making money or and, the pandemic know. was created yeah yeah <laughs> I don't right say that for this to happen yeah because the idea of someone just living virtually now looking at that thing was very strange because it was like you can literally it's the matrix like you have to have the sun the glasses right yeah, it's the, the matrix yeah it's just the matrix it's, it's like, like you plug yourself yes. in and then and you're it. in a different world and then you actually believe you see yourself walking around in a different world mm -hmm. and um i can see a lot of people who don't like this i think are people 40 plus because again, we were here before all this computer stuff mm -hmm. actually started to really take over. But this young group of people hey. is what you're is what's really gonna be worrisome. Well, because they're because already they living a life. Yeah. Anyway. They live you know, that they, life online and all they do they feel comfortable they live mm -hmm. life online, but they feel more comfortable in a virtual world than they do in mm -hmm. actual reality. So this is definitely going I think who he's targeting anyways. This is definitely gonna yeah. hit them in a different but I, I always worry about people who I always feel like it's a slippery slope when you're trying to create a false reality. Yeah, it was like remember, you know what I mean. Like yeah, it's remember weird. when um remember when um uh, when they had the life life the life like self uh, sex dolls. Yeah, this, all yeah. The, all these men were remember like excited. That? We don't need women anymore. They were like five thousand dollars. We have life like um, android like sex dolls. Yeah, and I thought, but do you really? But then there was this other group of men who were like, do you really want to be? sleeping with a robot mm -hmm. someone who's only telling you they like you because it's programmed yeah yeah you know what i mean like there there is a need in this world to not to not be real well and, and to not live yeah. in the real world and to not and not yeah and to not connect like the thing with social media that is done is is mm -hmm. a ironic weird thing that happened is that we got so connected and we got disconnected right and so while we are while we're able to contact our friends and family from years ago and all this you know it's still this weird feeling i still always feel a sense of disconnection when i'm doing any kind of like mm -hmm. online um like conversation yeah i much prefer to be in with you in person yeah you know what i mean i don't even really like phone conversations yeah there's this, you this know sort I mean? of thing like i i think that people 
don't feel good about themselves anymore and they want to get yeah. lost in fake worlds and this is you yeah. know what i mean and th that's the reason why really the only time i'm on the internet really is to listen to like music or to listen to um uh political commentary or you know all the i like politics so yeah. i listen to politics a mm -hmm. lot online though because that's the yeah, that's real true. stuff that's that's not the mainstream <laughs> but um right. but then also just to listen to music and if i'm bored really bored mm -hmm. to play games but um watching him navigate but that, just, just, that, that video watching him navigate but even like on facebook i don't even want to really be on facebook yeah. anymore you know what i mean his, his other thing is just as boring but after a while i think that it can i think they already realize that most young people are insecure yeah and lost with fixing their pictures and taking selfies all day mm -hmm. and and letting people know what they're doing just so they can post something to get likes and hearts world. that mm -hmm. now they think that they can go even further yeah. because you know when you think about it facebook just started mm -hmm. off with a picture and likes you got mm -hmm. the little blue thumbs up mm -hmm. and then it went to hearts and loves and and they, um, they, cares yeah. and uh, then they then it was like you could take a picture you could take a little ring light Mm -hmm. to make your pictures look better and then they went to now you can fix your photos mm -hmm. you can make yourself thinner lighter skin mm -hmm. darker skin longer hair and then it was those things where now you can look like a chipmunk mm -hmm. now you can look like an animal and I, if you I want was, to you know what i mean yeah and i always have those little things those like facial recognition things mm -hmm. those kind of like fun games that they do on instagram and tiktok would change your face into a dog you're talking mm -hmm. about the dog and a bunny and all that stuff i always feel like they were already taking your dimensions yeah, for these reasons, I, I I always feel like they're trying to see how far they can do something and doing stuff like those little turn your face into a dog and all that stuff. I feel like that is, you know, will people do this? And then they they did it in drones. Well, I mean, I think, that was, I think the virtual world thing was already happening. Oh yeah, I think that the, this was just to see those other things I just mentioned were just to see how lost people were. In, in in cyber world yeah. you know what i mean and so before because that would never have worked yeah if they just put that out people would right. be like oh sick you know like this is kind of creepy mm -hmm. but now that they've they've sort of um weaned us into things slowly or slower mm -hmm. and slower and eventually you know you're taking a picture um in walmart and yeah in, in the grocery line and and you know what's funny is that you're even, doing TikTok dances with your husband and I, i'm always very like, i always notice things because even me like when 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 uh, it, Facebook first came out, also when I got into you know, got into Facebook, so that it is kind of like this. Wow, it's like a whole nother it's a whole life. nother like little bubble of a world of people you know but don't know. Some people you don't know at all, but you can still connect with them. Some way, you know what I mean? Like it's it was very very interesting. But then slowly but surely, I started to look at Facebook and internet like mm -hmm. that as as like you know we really aren't really that connected. Like it's kind of weird. Having this kind, of, well, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird talking in emoji. Have you seen like like people talk now through emojis? Like I've seen, I've had an, an actual text message sent to me where it wasn't even really words; it was just emojis. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like of just of the day, and I'm thinking, what this is where we're at. We're not even using words anymore. We that there's a part of the the metaverse where you can. It's like a special part where you're still in the the metaverse mm -hmm. but then you can actually do things and like you can actually see like your hands in real yeah know? like there's that virtual reality they have like a split screen or half screen i don't know how they're sure they how they do that chip i don't know but you're able to be in a metaverse and still type and do work mm -hmm. so <laughs> you can be in reality but not in reality like what kind of mind mess up is that the idea that that like <laughs> you don't much. you don't have to try to be successful anymore because you'll be in a world where you can just create success, success. And it's not real so forget about failures people forget failures are what makes you successful by the way right. but no not in metaverse land in metaverse but, land, but you have to understand but that. people think this is nothing yeah but it's but there are some people think it's a big deal and it's it is like even huge. joe rogan was talking to ben shapiro yeah and they I watched were like that. this is creepy and Bishop Hill was I saying, like, that. I don't even allow my kids to be going online because mm -hmm. I think that it, it, it makes you brain dead. Yeah. And he was just like, but it's true, though, you know, but the the danger in this, there's just some danger in yeah. this to me. This is not like Facebook, although I thought Facebook was becoming danger, Instagram, TikTok, yeah. all these things, because it makes people think makes people think they're bigger than they are. Right. You know, what I mean, all they have to get is like four or five likes and, and it cannot even be a real picture of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You've been sitting here saying thank you to pictures that it's not even really you. But we just but, you were just talking to about Yeah, this? you were. We were just talking about this the other day. But you know what you know I'm saying? Danielle said that. You Danielle you said you said there's like pictures <laughs> that people are getting likes and saying not even the likes, getting the comments. Yeah. Where people are saying, You're so beautiful, you're that and you're like, Thank you and it's not even you. It's it's heavily altered. Like I was looking at this picture of this one person I know, it's an acquaintance that I know on um, you know, online 
and she um, f she's uh, fixed her well she smoothed out her skin to like to that odd point where it like blurs out like condition in like your nose and your lip you know what I mean like that extra smoothing feature that people do right and she made her eyes really big like, like you know what I mean like kind of like a Bambi and she slimmed down her her face she slimmed everything kind of down and I, I know her and it's not what she looks like in person, right? I just thought this this is her, but it's just like an odd, weird caricature of her. Right. That's that's the person who's gonna like Metaverse. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I was, you know, I just think like, but I mean, I was just telling Danielle that, I mean, I actually know someone that their like sister died. Mm -hmm. And I was, and, and he's and, and he's not only is, this is a nice person, mm -hmm. okay? And, and he's a good person. But his like sister died and he's like taking um he like puts a picture of himself looking out the the window and looks in the in the limp in the car yeah you know, the car going to the church. and he's dressed to the nine and he has somebody take a picture of him while he's looking out the window and he's like the caption above is like i'm going to my sister's homecoming you know home going mm -hmm. you know what i mean and then he's like taking pictures of himself by the tombstone and and I think we've lost track of decency. Yeah. And I don't, he's not a mean person. It's just that everybody does this. So, and you know, the other day I was, I was, um, when I was watching, um, what's his name? Uh, he was talking about this, um, Russell Brand. Mm -hmm. And he was just saying, this is dangerous. That's like, what this I was is saying. Completely yes, dangerous. He's I like, think so. and this is the, he's like, we were talking about Joey Toons mm -hmm. and showing the dummy of America through TikTok. And, yeah. stuff. and the truth is that I do think that there is a, um, I do think there's some sort of, thing that that is trying that there's something that's trying to make people dumb because that's what i'm saying you know, everything is me. online now you know you what know? i mean but what i'm saying is like when we can't mm -hmm. accept our flaws and we can't accept our yeah, failures right. and we need things to sort of um make us look good mm -hmm. all the time because our own self-esteem isn't strong enough yeah. how are we going to survive yeah you understand we that you're taking away our 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 courage and the, the, and realness, the realness of the, the, re, the reality is something that if you're not living in it, you get lost in these weird bubble worlds like it's like Mark Zuckerberg is crunch, trying to create. And it, it's a sense of and then he's trying to make it. It was cringy about this is that he's trying to make it seem like he's bringing people together mm -hmm. in his community. And I get to do all this. And all the thing is, no, no, no. What you're doing is you're creating someone who's going to be alone at home creating some false mm -hmm. manufactured reality and that person is going to be super lonely it's all unreal it's all fake it's I mean, all because fake. he was saying that it was like it will help people with their because everything everybody wants to talk about mental health now oh uh, yeah mental health is huge and the mental health is bad now mm -hmm. not because people are like you know need to be in psych ward crazy mm -hmm. but people have lost the sting mm -hmm. because of always, always having to be up. on on online yeah. all the time always feel like they got to post something or be doing something special or having this much money or comparing mm -hmm. themselves to people and i i don't again i disagree with him because i think people should not be getting their self-esteem online mm -mm. you know what i mean my point is saying that i think there's an agenda mm -hmm. to dumb people down and to keep us stupid yeah and to keep us um like beaten down mm -hmm. it's like you're just trying to create this weird little bubble life and you think that that's going to be the answer to your happiness. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's just, it's not. It's a, you become a weirdo. <laughs> I think people like that are going to become very strange people. Mm -hmm. I mean, honest, Mark Zuckerberg is strange. Yeah. I mean, like, we, I mean, I'm not going to, I mean, out of all the people that, that should be doing this, you know what I mean? Or that, out of all the people that are creating this, it was him. Mm -hmm. He looks like a shell of he a man. Like a, he looks like an android. He just looks like yeah. He doesn't look like a. He just a looks like a fake robot. person. He doesn't even look real. He's a shell of himself. He has some kind of. He doesn't life even to blink. Work. No. Have you ever seen him? He doesn't blink at all. He just has his eyes are dilated and he's just mm -hmm. looking at, at the cameras and he's not yeah. really there. It just feels like he's a computer or bot. And so when I think about the idea of the fact that who created this, so the fact that it's created is already like creepy to me. I think it's dangerous. I, I don't like it. But it's who created it is also bothering mm -hmm. me because it's like him being so robotic and then telling you, I'm going to create this kind of wonderful community world. And he's trying so hard to be human in that video. And Joe Rogan has a good point. It's too much. What if, the, what if the elite people aren't even doing this? Yeah. It's just, what if You're Mark just... Zuckerberg isn't doing this? Yeah. What if, what if these uh, really, really wealthy people aren't even, th this is just for us. 
Yeah. We think that everybody's doing it. Mm-hmm. But if it's just a way to distract us right. while they do a bunch of messed up stuff, mm-hmm. then we, we're so lost, you know, we're so lost in, in these little gadgets and stuff. But, you know, this guy was saying the other day, I knew I knew this was coming mm-hmm. when video games started to be mm-hmm. more lifelike and people had headsets yeah. to play on video games and would sit there for six, seven, grown men sitting yeah. there for six, seven, eight, nine hours talking on a headset while they while they play. I knew it was coming because it's almost like they just don't ever want us to leave. But think about, they don't ever want us to leave our home. But think about it, even after coronavirus, when people weren't going to work, we also, we, we got Uber Eats. Mm-hmm. We never leave. We we don't, don't even when we get our fast food now, yeah, the drive through was supposed to be the hard, the easy part. Yeah. Now it's, you don't even gotta leave your home. They you can don't. just order this crappy food and it just comes to your house. And his whole thing was, you can do so this optional. and you can do that without ever leaving your home. It was so was like Mark. Creepy. I do want to leave my home though. But he doesn't want you to. You know what I'm saying? Why? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I do want to leave my home. Right. I can have my groceries delivered, but I want to go get my groceries. And he I don't want you to take yeah. everything away from me. You know what I mean? Where all of a sudden that yeah. we are so out of shape mm-hmm. and so um, d- brain dead. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the reason why these people look like crap today is because they don't leave their home. And when they do leave their home, they're not ready to be out in the real world. They just the uh, ideas. Who cares? Yeah, they just want to run the store, yeah. grab some snacks, so no they go back home, me. and then sit. And then they can go to metaverse and yeah. then look like the person they wish they could. Yeah, which is that's the that's the thing that you can create an avatar. I think what it is, right? You just create an avatar of yourself, and you can just kind of mm-hmm. create what you want to look like and who you want to be, and all this. You're telling people. That, you know, if you don't like who you are, you can pretend to be something that you're not. And mm-hmm. then that's going to create some type of um, happiness in your life. And I'm like, no, that that doesn't even, to me, that sounds damaging. It's like I'm going to do the exact mm-hmm. opposite. Like, if I didn't like myself, like I have, I think, good self-esteem. But if I didn't like myself, and I didn't like the way I looked or whatever it is, and there was a special place you can go where there's this bubble of people. I can have an avatar and pick out what I'm going to wear, who I am, my hair doesn't look like. I, but still, in reality, not liking myself. Mm-hmm. I think it will make me more depressed looking at, you know, eventually looking at who I created. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'll never be that person. Like, I'll never be that person because I mean, you know, I would just always think, I will always be thinking that way. And, you know, I feel like, I, like I've, we, I've said to you before that. I'm not a religious person. Right. Um, I do believe in uh, a lot of Bible texts in mm-hmm. the Bible, and but I do believe in God. I mm-hmm. believe there's something higher than all of us. But I do think that this sort of big tech overlord mm-hmm. that we all have, I think it's trying to replace like yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. How are we going to have happy? Because there's, there is other happiness besides <clears throat> getting likes. <laughs> there's someone telling you that they love you and meaning it when they the look at you. You know, yeah. you know what I mean? There, there are things that, that you do need. There- and I also feel like human connection too like you can't just be online all the time mm-hmm. like we're not you know what i mean but i can see that where it's they groomed us you know mm-hmm. because even on some level i i love like you know the phone stuff you know i i, I like playing games and watching stuff on my streaming things or like that mm-hmm. but that was like a slow grooming so even me like you know it kind of got me a little bit but i'm like there's some parts of it where it's like, oh, you know, you got to be able to take a break mm-hmm. from stuff, though. You can't, like, if someone took Facebook away or whatever it is away for a year, I wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't bother me. me you it know? wouldn't bother, mm-hmm. it wouldn't bother me. I think also because we're not on, besides our channel, mm-hmm. like, we promote that, but it's. I watch YouTube. Yeah, I, I watch YouTube because I like to, I like to look at my, uh, my YouTubers that I like to yeah. watch. So I like to watch that every yeah. once in a while. But, I mean, other than that, I'm not a. But uh, scrolling Instagram, and scrolling TikTok, and scrolling yeah. and, and, and double tapping and I don't, you know, and also like me just putting up a million pictures of myself every day. Like I don't even, I don't do that. I'm like, it's just, I just think that it's mm-hmm. damaging. To, I think it's just damaging to your, um, your psychological really well-being. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't know if people really see what they're doing. Yeah, even on... No, they don't. They it's don't like see it. They're just doing it. Like, no, um, they were... Even when Joe Rogan was talking to Ben Shapiro, he was talking about China. Yeah. And he said, you know, China, they don't allow their kids to even be online. Yeah, they don't. Isn't that crazy? Because you always think most of this technology stuff comes over seas. They know. You know what I mean? But the truth <laughs> is, is they don't allow their mm-hmm. kids to... Um, it's like, addictive. Like we do. It's they addictive. don't... Have, and that's what they say. China is China's becoming a superpower. Mm-hmm. Because um, they are actually not... They're not. Um, they're, they're. 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 Their boys are getting more masculine. Mm-hmm. They make them uh, like work out. They yeah. make them do all this. So now I don't want to live in China. It's, yeah. it's also authoritarian. Yeah. <laughs> but they also don't allow their kids to watch to, to be glued to a television. Mm-hmm. You get a certain amount of time, and then you have to get off. And that's just the rule. Yeah. You know what I mean? And here we have kids. Just that's all they do. 
They go well, to school. Now yeah. kids are go to school with um with um you know laptops and all those things. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what happened to books? Yeah. Oh, it's a, there's a there's a method to all this madness. Like there's a, there's a mm -hmm. reason for for the progression of this and stuff like this is just trying to see. I mean, because you know? I'm in my 40s and every time I think about the days when I used to know like 15, 20 phone numbers. Yeah. That's before we had like phones. So we had 15, yeah. 20 phone numbers. I can't remember even my phone number sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I, all I do is push face names. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, it's dumbed me down. Yeah, no, I 100%. And I have to check myself <laughs> sometimes because yeah, sometimes right. it's just like, God, you, little things that you knew, you you're, starting, you're starting to lose it because it's just everything's becoming too easy. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah. I, and even being able to talk to your phone, like, like at this point, like, and I, I, I do it. I do it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's to the point now where even like typing in like, where is blank? You know, like I just much rather just say it to the phone. You know? mm -hmm. And that's a convenience, right? It's a cool convenience that everyone uses, but it just shows you the progression and how it, and we were weaned on it mm -hmm. and groomed to do this. Yeah. And this is what this is what's happening now. I, I will not do anything like metaverse. That just seems cycle to me at this point joe rogan told ben he was just like or ben told joe he's just like because you know that the younger generation is gonna they know they're gonna soak this right up yeah they're, he's like i know and joe was like i know it's coming and it's scary to know that the people who are going to be running our country are going to be basically robot robots zombies online and he said that we won't be having real mm -hmm. human real connection real yeah. connections y'all already know that karen and i are very old-fashioned with a lot of stuff we like a lot of old things you know what i mean mm -hmm. and the reason why is because that stuff is really cool to me like i love it you know the 50s 60s it's kind of i love it 70s um but the reason really is the simplicity of it all the uh, the human connection of the past is what i crave is what i like it's you know what i mean mm -hmm. it speaks to me as a human being so when i'm looking at all this online stuff and thumbprints and facial recognitions and you know, um, double tapping and, you know, you got to do all now we got metaverse. Mm -hmm. It's like, I can't, it doesn't even, it doesn't speak to me like that. Like I am, what's that, what's the thing I was talking, mm -hmm. said on, um, on Die Hard, uh, where oh, Timex yeah. watch in a digital world. Like, when he said that, I thought, well, yeah, because mm -hmm. there's, there's some things where you, it, I don't think it should have never changed. Mm -hmm. I don't think it should have changed, but I do like technology. But that movie is know? a good point though. Because it does. Bruce Willis, we're talking about Die Hard. You were talking about Die Hard when mm -hmm. when uh, the Live Free Die Hard. Yeah. Um, but there was a good point though, because the what even though Bruce Willis was an action character, mm -hmm. the truth is is that when those people unplugged themselves from all their computers, they couldn't beat him. Yeah. Like, you understand? They were like they were all yeah. weak men and uh, and weak women. They're mm -hmm. really just kind of useless mm -hmm. after that. They can do all they want behind their little keyboards, but as soon as it was really trying to be mono y mono mm -hmm. and have to deal with stuff in the real world. They were they were pretty afraid and well, not as yeah. and not as confident. Well, you're talking about the Chinese thing, the Chinese people and mm -hmm. how they train and bring up their youth. Um, uh, you know they don't get to connect it to all that mm -hmm. online stuff. You know they they do human normal things like in real life, and I, I do feel like there's a sense of them being um, trying to find stimulation naturally. Yeah, you know what I mean. And what we what happens is that the world is finding stimulation through technology right now. Mm -hmm. So we find ourselves in this um, world of mm -hmm. of visual stimulation where we now need it. Essentially, though, or, you're essentially though you're just tapping out. You're just tapping out. And you, you know tap I mean? out like, too long. Yeah, you become weak. And I think then. So my 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 feelings on it is that once you, I would think that once you put the glasses on the um, virtual glasses thing that he has on you're tapped out right so once you're in that you're getting visually stimulated as you're going i can imagine what it's like mm -hmm. it must be pretty cool i mean i would think especially if you're a tech person i know you probably would love it but i would think that once you get into the metaverse you're you're in a different world and then when you start seeing all the things you can do with it and who you can be and all mm -hmm. i i would think that you're now you're you're not only are you tapped out you're engulfed Mm -hmm. in this world and time is going by hours are just moving on mm -hmm. i can see people starting to miss work you know what i mean for mm -hmm. it all calling off you know what i mean i can see this happening or just people like i think Russell you know? brand was like because i think mark said 
that it was like meditation. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I don't need to do that. <laughs> he's like, I don't need. I, he's, he's, like, he's like, I meditate. I when I want to meditate, that's what I do. I don't need to yeah. go into some virtual world. Yeah. He's just like, and then some. Uh, someone wrote in his comments. Well, maybe because when you come out of the, your, um, maybe Russell, when you come out of your uh, meditation, meditation, you live in that world. Yeah. You have a home like that. Mm-hmm. You're so your world is like right, mm-hmm. but that's just his point. Mm-hmm. The point is that is his real life. Yeah. That, right. You understand? Know so, so that's what you want. You don't right. want a fake life. You want that well, to be Russell real Russell gets done life. with his meditation, his real yeah. life is living Russell that, Brand you know. is an addict. Yeah. He's, a, he's a former addict mm-hmm. of heroin. And so I don't think that somebody that has heroin, mm-hmm. who has someone who's had heroin had to look at life in the real. Right. I had to face that. But could you imagine if he did have that and he had metaverse and he didn't have to deal with his heroin? I mean, I could see a lot of people yeah. who have who have weight problems. Yeah. I could see people who have alcohol problems, <clears throat> people who have drug problems. People you just, can be somebody else and just be somebody else for. And I could see people being in that state mm-hmm. for hours and hours and yeah. hours and not want to come. And out. essentially, it's just another drug. It's just another. It's, drug. It would just be another drug, and you're not. It, it's it's it's. It's not. So I'm not. I'm not for oh, this no, metaverse for thing. It, yeah. I do know it's coming though, and I know that everybody. I knew it was coming though. Everybody's yeah. going to do it, and I, I think it's <laughs> dangerous for young people. Um, and even like I was saying earlier, like even people my age, like my people that I know mm-hmm. personally, they're already tapping out in certain things. Like we're talking about with the pictures and stuff mm-hmm. like that. They're creating. They're already creating their own avatar, and then getting likes for a a a manufactured version of himself. The I the idea of just being a caricature, yeah, of yourself, and then I mean this is I feel like I would yeah. lose I feel like I might lose my mind. This is literally the Matrix. <laughs> it is. This is this is what it literally is. And you know the thing yeah, is, it's like it is. The, when I first came home, I lost everything. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is that the only way that I got it back or I got back on track was facing my life. That's it. The reason why is I was already living in a fake world, Mm -hmm. acting like I didn't owe stuff and overspending my money Mm -hmm. and living in a world that I really couldn't afford. Yeah. And the the only way that you can fix that is when you're able to look at yourself the right way. You don't just escape into a different world and pretend like it's not happening and not face your life. And that's why I think this is dangerous. On a a grander scale, I think it's dangerous for our um, for our um, public safety. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what the world could be doing where we're all hooked up and lost. Mm-hmm. We're already lost in the in the internet as it is. Being yeah, just, just taking another step in worse, but in a in a personal mm-hmm. way, I think it can make people unaccountable. And we talk about uh, we talk about uh, personal accountability. That's right. why we share a lot of our um, you know like our stories of our life and things that have happened and our our you know uh, what's it called our, our shortcomings and our hardships and stuff like that because it, it's only because. It, what we've learned from taking accountability and responsibility is, you know, and living your real truth, mm-hmm. your real life, right? Is that you, that's growth happens with that. It's yeah, your, I mean, and just you suppose know? that you have a, you're a married couple and yeah. you guys are both walking around with these like, glasses on. And you guys are living in a different right. world. Yes. Like it can, can actually separate that? you in marriage. Like, you know what I mean? And I think people would do that. You know, like I don't want to live in your world. No. I just realized that. I like my own world. Just don't I just I don't get it. You know what I mean? You're just it's sitting it's around, walking around, and you, everybody walking yeah. around in their home, yeah. not in their home. Just your kids and you just walking around, bumping mm-hmm. into each other. It's, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's like I enjoy reality. I enjoy yeah. I enjoy being grounded in reality. Like yeah, like Karen and I, when we go out, like for instance, when we go out and stuff. We don't like take pictures of each other, and we don't do like. And you can go on our Facebook, take both pictures. of our Facebook pages right now, yeah. and you don't see any pictures of us together because we just don't take pictures. We when just, we're together, we don't take pictures. When we're out. Yeah, when we're we, out, we're out. We're, we really are. We go have a coffee. Talking. We're having a talking. We're not taking photos yeah. of our, co- our cups. And we're not those people. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be like I've tried to. I've done it before. I've taken pictures of my food a years a long ago, time ago, like years ago, and I, I've tried to be part of the whole thing. But I'm like, you know, why the hell am I taking pictures of my Starbucks? This is interesting. So, like, why, why would it, anybody be interested in my Starbucks cup? And why would anybody be interested in me taking a picture of myself every single day? Anybody that gets involved with it, we're really going to take mm-hmm. a lot of precautions because this is like anything, any other stimulant. This can really take over you. I mean, we can all put on our our our, our uh, glasses and our earphones, yeah. and it could be like freaking World War Two outside. We don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> we're all hooked up to something. We don't know. know Armageddon could be happening outside. Everybody, the news stuff. Everybody, put on your glasses, and it could be just the end of the world. And we're, we're just, <laughs> you know, what I mean, just like 
the new the the, the what is it the, the atomic bomb to right to oh I don't know I was in metaverse I don't want you guys to see this I was in metaverse I never better say don't know it's coming yeah right they, you know put it on your video and you which call it you know it's just it's just weird it's just weird you know so I like to stay very aware. Mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable in that. Right. So the same thing with social media. I don't feel like, I feel like when you're in it too long, it is like a shot of heroin. Some of these people cannot get mm -hmm. off. Yeah. It's like they're, they're always trying to, to, to get more and more and more and more and more and more. And it's just like, you're not getting anything out of this. It's, it's like, remember when, yeah. um, remember when Facebook or Instagram shut, we were talking about this before, when Facebook, or I think it was Facebook that shut down for a little bit. Remember yeah. something happened and it shut, down. shut down for a couple hours. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't notice. Because I wasn't online. I was like, oh, it did. The next morning, we're like, oh, that's I had no clue. I, I wasn't even, I didn't even go onto social media. I had mm -hmm. So it's like, but there are people, everyone like kind of noticed yeah, it. They were hooking at Metaverse. And, they, they were. were doing. They were, they were doing something with Metaverse. preparing the Metaverse world. You don't think that's what they were doing? There was like, all of a sudden, now we got Metaverse out, out of nowhere. So it's just like, yeah, they were hooking that up. They were putting in a program. That they, yeah. had, that meant they had to shut it, the system down. down to do it. And then they did it, and they got it in. And, and I now can tell you, is. next year, we're going to all get the glasses. <laughs> we're all going to get the glasses and the ear pods. We're all going to be walking around to the store, get hit by cars. <laughs> we think it's ridiculous. Tell us what you guys think. Leave a comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this. Everybody have a really good day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.